So I have spent months on my garden planning. I have planned when I'm going to plant everything, what I'm going to plant, and who it's going to sit next to. I've planned a new garden beds for my uh, salad garden. I've planned new beds for my rhubarb and raspberry just so it can be more organized and a little bit more functional in that space. I ran into a problem. The price of wood is so high right now that I'm reevaluating whether or not I can do my raised beds. Recently, with planting season on its way, I've been super excited to get my garden going. Um, I've been working on my plans, reviewing them, and getting ready to build the, the planter boxes I had planned. I have at least seven boxes that I wanted to put in my garden. There was various sizes, most of them pretty small, but a few of them I wanted, especially my salad garden, I wanted them taller, uh, about two feet. And then I had a bigger one going in around one of my apple trees. Uh, and then I did the prices. <laughs> Found out that one box, a 7x6, was going to cost me over $500 to build. I was speechless. There's no way I could build the boxes I want this year with the price of wood the way it is. So I have to come up with some alternatives. Um, so I did a lot of searching and I found a few options and I want to share those with you. Fortunately, there's lots of options if you are going to look at raised beds other than wood this year. So the first thing is horse troughs. Uh, a few years ago when I wanted to build my strawberry beds, I had looked into doing the horse troughs. Um, the prices at the time were higher than it was for wood, so I went ahead and did wood raised beds for my strawberries. Um, but I think now, with the way that wood is, you could probably get away with it. Um, there are metal horse troughs that are quite a bit more expensive than the plastic ones, but the plastic ones are a really good price point. However, they're kind of not on the pretty side, if you care about that. <laughs> Second option is galvanized metal flower beds or planter beds. They're open on the bottom, which is nice, and they come in various sizes. You can get them from a small pot, like a container, up to uh, like a seven by eight or a seven foot or eight foot. Um, I find that the sizes are a little limiting as you get to the bigger sizes. You kind of have to go with what you get. The galvanized metal, um, I actually think they're kind of cute. I like them myself. They're a little out of my price point so I don't didn't get them. I realize that they might not be everyone's style. So for those of you who like the more traditional style, a plastic raised bed probably would be best. They also come in various sizes. Um, with those two, it's the bigger you get, the less options you have in sizes. So if you just need a small bed, then those two options are pretty good. But if you're looking for something bigger, then, then you have to kind of go with multiple. Another option, which is the option I went with, was a fabric raised bed. So I have various sizes of containers that I got from a five gallon, 10 gallon, and I think I even got a 30 gallon. Um, but the big excitement for me is I have three garden beds now made of the fabric uh, that are eight foot by four foot, which are su I'm super excited about because it's for my salad garden. And I was a little sad that I wouldn't be able to build those. Um, They're quite a bit cheaper. One fabric raised bed, a four foot by eight foot about, it was $40 compared to like 160 or 180 for galvanized or plastic. I was pretty excited. Definitely fit my budget for the amount of new things that I'm putting in my garden this year. I needed something on the lower side um, just so I can fit everything in that I want to. And I don't have to put anything together. I don't have to build anything, which is a bonus for me too. So if you're thinking about raised beds and what you can do besides a wooden raised bed, then those are some good options. I'm sure there's more out there. If you have any other options that you have found, put them in the comments. So if you're excited to see what I'm going to do with my raised bed, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me this summer and we'll be able to have some fun together. Thanks!